Have you ever found yourself dealing with multiple copies of your photos in different folders on some external drives? I mean identical copies or duplicates of your photos. In today's video, let's have a look at an easy solution for this problem. Stay tuned. Digital photography was nothing less than a technical revolution by simplifying the process of taking photos. However, this means more and more photos are taken daily. This brought a new problem in photo file management, both in terms of organization and storage. This is even more critical these days due to the popularity of burst mode shooting, which takes multiple shots of the same scene. There are some online storage platforms that offer integrated features for highlighting duplicates. However, you may need a solution that can work offline on your local drives. Luckily, there are many applications that can help you with finding duplicates. And while most of them are not free, there are still reliable free options. Like OldUp, a tiny software that does this for any type of files on your storage drives and not only for images and photos. Just install and run the software and after selecting the source folder, on the search method tab, you will see a variety of options such as duplicate files, similar names, similar pictures, and even audio and video files. You can deselect the options for the same properties such as name, file extension, and so on for the most comprehensive search results. Also, you can choose to detect picture modifications. This option might be slightly slower but it searches even for images that are rotated or flipped. Once the search results are listed, you can select them based on different criteria such as folder location, newest and oldest, and even files with the highest megapixels. Then, it will be easy to keep the best versions of the file and delete the remaining copy. Even if you do your best not to make duplicates in the first place, it happens from time to time. Like when you make a partial and later a full backup of a project into your backup drives. Okay, that's it for today. A special thanks to Shadman for suggesting this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hamid DLL and I will see you in the next video.